Did you know Hong Kong is giving away 500,000 plane tickets for free, which could be worth almost $3,000 if you're traveling from the U.S. and even more from other countries. So once you're there, what are the other ways to save money? Look no further. I am Bella, and these are the best free things to do in Hong Kong. Visit the Hong Kong Museum of Art. If you're into art and culture, you'll love the Hong Kong Museum of Art. It showcases over 15,000 artworks, including modern and contemporary Hong Kong art, China trade art, and artifacts from the Palace Museum in Beijing. Ancient Chinese ceramics and glass objects are its main attractions which you shouldn't miss. It has a sleek new look after a four-year makeover and has 12 galleries. Regular museum pass cost 50 Hong Kong dollar, but you can visit for free on Wednesdays if you pre-register online. Just make sure to check their website for the latest information before you go. And don't forget to bring your camera because you'll want to take selfies with the artwork. Just don't get too close. Or you might end up like this guy who accidentally punched a hole in a painting worth $1.5 million. Tour Tai Kun's Arts Complex. Tai Kun is a huge heritage and arts complex, an almost 300,000 square feet big compound across Victoria Harbor. Hong Kong locals call it one of the most beautiful places in the city. It used to be a police station, a magistracy, and a prison in the 1800s. Although old, it has been restored with modern extensions and looks spectacular in the new colors. You can roam freely in most of the 18 blocks, learn about the site's history, and enter the prison cells. You can either visit them independently or with one of the organized tours. You can also enjoy the views of Victoria Harbor from the square. Tai Kun also hosts various exhibitions and events throughout the year, so keep an eye on their calendar. But be careful not to break any rules, or you might end up staying longer than planned, not in the square but inside the jail. Watch the Symphony of Lights show. One of the most iconic things to do in Hong Kong is to watch the Symphony of Lights show, which happens every night at 8 p.m. and lasts 10 minutes. It's a spectacular display of lights, music, and narration that showcases the skyline of Hong Kong Island and Kowloon. You can watch it from various locations along both sides of Victoria Harbor, but some of the best spots are Sim Sha Sui Promenade, Golden Bauhinia Square, or on board a Star Ferry. And it is free. But don't get too mesmerized by the show, or you might end up like this girl. Some info about the free airplane tickets. Starting this March, Hong Kong is giving away 500,000 air tickets for free over the next six months as part of its Hello Hong Kong campaign, a total package worth $255 million. The tickets will be distributed through the country's three carriers, Cathay Pacific, HK Express, and Hong Kong Airlines. If you want to travel there, you simply enter your name into a flight ticket lottery at the World of Winners International Airport page, and you can get selected for free tickets. Who knows? You might be the lucky one. It's provided on three waves. From March 1st to April 1st, it will go to people across Southeast Asia. Then until May 1st, it will be for Chinese residents, and then it will be open to residents in the rest of the world. Visit the best of over 600 temples. There are more than 600 temples in Hong Kong, and over 100 are dedicated partially to Tin Hao, the goddess of sea. But you can only visit some of them. So which are the best ones? Chilin Nunnery is a Buddhist temple next to Nan Leon Garden that dates back to the 1930s. It's built entirely with wood without using any nails and houses statues of Buddha, Bodhisattvas, and other deities. Another one, Wang Tai Sin Temple, is located in Wang Tai Sin and is a Taoist temple that dates back to the 1920s. It's dedicated to Wang Tai Sin, a legendary healer who grants wishes. You can see its great red pillars, gold roof, yellow latticework, and multicolored carvings. It's also famous for its fortune-telling stalls, where you can get your fortune told for a small fee. Some other must-visit unique temples are Yamate Tin Hao Temple, Man Mo Temple, Lopan Temple, and Chi Kung Temple. If you've already visited one of these temples, let me know your experience in the comments. Hike up to Victoria Peak and Po Lin Monastery. If you're feeling adventurous and want to save some money on transportation, you can hike up to two of Hong Kong's most popular attractions, Victoria Peak and Po Lin Monastery. 
Victoria Peak is the highest point on Hong Kong Island and offers stunning views of the city and beyond. You can take the morning trail from Hatton Road or Old Peak Road from Garden Road to reach the peak in about an hour or two. Po Lin Monastery is located on Lantau Island and is home to the giant Tian Tan Buddha statue. It's one of the most popular spots among the Hong Kong locals. You can take the Lantau Trail from Tung Chung or Moi Wo to reach the monastery in about three or four hours. Both these places are easily accessible as they are paved, but get some water and probably a cane if you don't walk much. Central Mid-Levels Escalator The Central Mid-Levels Escalator is an escalator but something you've never seen before. It is not just a convenient way to get around, but also a fun attraction in itself. It's the longest outdoor covered escalator system in the world, spanning over 800 meters and connecting different neighborhoods along the way. It takes you almost 30 minutes to go one way. You can hop on and off at any point and explore the sights and sounds of Central, Soho, and Mid-Levels. You'll find plenty of bars, restaurants, shops, galleries, temples, and street art along the way. The escalator runs downhill from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. and uphill from 10.30 a.m. to midnight. But don't get too lazy or you might end up like this guy. So these are the free things to do in Hong Kong. Which one would you love to visit? Let me know in the comments. Have a good day. Keep traveling.